So just like score, we are going to first create an object, insert new object in our layout, and we are going to select text and click insert. And we are going to draw the text. And the next important thing I'm going to do is look at the properties and give names to it. So, so I'm going to call this text object as lives. And the text here I'm going to put as lives. And my font is going to be same as core. I'm going to put it as bold. And I'm going to say size as 26. Press OK. And I'm going to fix that in here, make it a little bigger. And I'm going to move it over the side. And I'm going to change the color of the font. I'm going to put same as score. When we create lives in a game, every time the bubble goes outside the layout, uh, it loses a life. So for setting up a lives, I was trying to use if the bubble is outside the layout event. Somehow everything was correct. The lives did not work correctly. And um, one of my awesome students, James, he suggested, Miss, why don't you just put a sprite up here and use the collision event? I'm like, sounds good. Super easy. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object and I'm going to click on Sprite and press Insert and I'm going to insert a Sprite. Now I'm just going to keep my Sprite as rectangle and I'm going to fill it with a color and I'm going to close this now. Now that I have a Sprite and I'm going to move it just above my layout, I'm going to reduce the size of the right and I'm going to increase the width so every time my bubble goes outside the layout and collides with this object I lose a life so let's uh, create events for this but before we create events for this let's give a name to our sprite so I'm going to select my object and I'm going to go to my properties and I'm going to call it as wall so keeping our convention in mind SPR wall Okay, and in here, the very first thing I want to do is create a global variable. Just like score, we are going to create a global variable for lives. So let's go ahead and create a global variable that will uh, keep track of the lives. And the global variable is going to be very similar to score. So I'm going to right click, add global variable. I'm going to call the variable as lives. And I'm going to set the initial value to three. Now you may set the initial value to 10 or 5, it's your choice. Press OK. Now the next thing I want to do is, in my every tick event, if you see I have added the score action in here. Set text to score and I'm getting the value from the variable score. So I'm going to do the same thing for the lives as well. So I'm going to click on add action. I'm going to select the lives text and I'm going to click next and I'm going to scroll down and select set text and press next and in here I'm going to type in lives and colon that will display on the screen and I'm going to put and symbol and my variable here lives and press done so I did very similar to what we had done for score. For score, we had added 10 to the score. Now we need to deduct one from our lives. So that means every time the bubble is colliding with the wall, the life is deducted. So let's create an event. I'm going to click on our event and I'm going to create an event for our bubble, SPR bubble. And I'm going to look for collision event and here on collision with another object. Press next and I'm going to select on collision with the wall, SPR wall, press OK and done. So I created an event if the bubble is colliding with the wall, now I need to provide what action must happen. So I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to create system action, press next. I'm going to select subtract from and press next. 
and I have to subtract it from lives and I'm subtracting value 1 and then press done. So looks like everything is done correctly. Let's test it. I'm going to click on run layout and I'm going to click on the bubbles and I'm going to let one bubble go outside my layout and let's see if the lives is reducing. Yep, one bubble went outside the layout. We reduced our lives to two. Second bubble, we have one life left and if that's gone, then no more uh, lives left. But the game is still continuing. So now what we want to do is we want to have something called game over. That means if I have zero lives left, that means my game should be over. So the bubbles should stop coming in. Let's do that. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is again create a global variable. I'm going to call this global variable as game over. So I'm going to create a game over variable. I'm going to set the initial value as zero. Now what I'm checking in here is if the lives is less than or equal to zero, that means if it's zero or minus one or minus two or anything less than zero, I want the game over to be one. That means I'm changing the condition of my game and I want to destroy the bubbles. I'm going to click on add event and I'm going to select system event, press next and I'm going to compare variable. and click next and I'm going to see if my lives variable is less than or equal to zero then what action should happen so let's add an action what should happen if the lives becomes zero or less than zero I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to go to system and I'm going to click next and I'm going to I'm going to set value and I'm going to select game over. Make sure the game over is selected and I'm going to set the value to 1. Initially, game over was set to 0. That means you can continue playing the game. But when there is no lives, we want the global variable game over value to be set as 1. If the value is set as 1, then I want another action to happen. That means I want to destroy the bubble so that no more bubbles pop up and then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for destroy and press done so I'm going to click on run layout and let's test it again so lives is three right now and I'm going to just let the bubbles go outside the layout so that no more bubbles should come. So as soon as the lives are zero, we see there are no more bubbles popping up. Now let's um, add some more challenge to this. That means when the game is over, I want the game to restart after a few seconds. That means the player can play the game again. So in order to do that, I'm going to create an event and I'm going to create a system event and I'm going to check my variable compare variable and I'm going to check if the game over is equal to 1 that means my game is over what should I do now so I'm going to add some action so if my game is over game over value is 1 that means the game is over so if my game is over I'm going to click on add action and I'm going to make sure that my score is not visible so I'm going to click on next and I'm going to Look at the appearance, set visible, click next, and I'm going to select invisible here and press done. I'm going to do the same thing for lives. I'm going to select the lives and set visible, next, and make it invisible, done. And then I'm going to ask the system to wait for a few seconds before we get restarted with the game. So I'm going to add action 
and I'm going to go to the system I'm going to go to next and I'm going to look for weight and if I can't find weight I can always search for it typing weight and I'll see it in here and then click next and I'm going to say maybe four seconds or five seconds it's your choice and then I'm going to restart my layout so I'm going to go to system and click next and then I'm going to look for restart and again if you don't want to scroll down and look for restart uh, you can just type in and you will see restart layout and I'm going to click done so my layout is going to restart but wait a minute we still have some values in our lives and score we need to also make sure we reset those values so I'm going to add another action and it's going to be system click next and I'm going to again I if I'm not able to find it I will type in reset and I'm going to say reset global variables and I'm going to press done so that's it so let's go ahead and click run layout and check what happens if the game is over I'm just going to let the bubbles run out of the layout and let's see waiting and then restart the layout with initial values set but now what I want to do is I want to have a game over uh, splash up when the game is over so let's fix that so I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to add a new object again it's going to be text I'm going to click insert and I'm going to say game over so first things first I'm going to give the name for the object SPR game over and then I'm, I'm going to name the text I'm going to give a string that would be game over and I'm going to have the same font bold same size press OK it's big I'm going to actually you know what I'm going to make this font a little more bigger let's say 72 and I'm going to put it up here in the center and I'm going to make the color whatever color you like I'm just going to keep red and uh, initial visibility I'm going to make it invisible so when I click run I don't see the game over but I should see the game over when my game is over that means my game over variable is set to 1 so I should see game over at this point in here I can't see that so I need to go back to my event sheet 1 and where I'm setting the text score and lives to set invisible this is the place I'm going to add another action and I'm going to say game over and then next and I'm going to make it visible and press next and press done so I'm going to drag this above weight so score is invisible lives is invisible but the game uh, should be visible so let's click run and again test it I'm going to let the bubbles run out of the layout so I should see the game over screen as soon as my lives are zero. Game over. Wait for a few seconds and then restart the layout with initializing, resetting the variables. So here's our complete uh, Pop Bubbles game in Construct 2.